Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloud Sync. In today's session, we'll take a look at Windows Laps, previously known as Microsoft Laps. They're both local administrator password solutions and both manage and backup passwords for all local administrator accounts for both Entry ID domain joined devices and Windows Server Active Directory domain joined devices, excluding registered devices. So they do have to be fully managed. We can also use Windows Laps in a hybrid configuration. For example, if you had Active Directory domain services, syncing up to your cloud managed organization. Commencing 23rd of October, which is today, legacy Windows Laps or Microsoft Laps will be deprecated. Therefore, if you installed uh, the agent formerly from the Microsoft Download Center, you do need to migrate to the new Windows Laps. If you were to access Microsoft Entra Admin Console, you do have to have a particular role to be able to not just deploy, but manage and audit Windows Laps from a cloud perspective. You even need to be a global administrator or a cloud device administrator. If you were to access entra.microsoft.com, you can then navigate to identity, in which you can scroll down to devices, select to overview. This will then prevent you the devices overview pane, in which under manage, you have uh, a few options for device settings, um, which we can enable Windows Laps, and you have also local administrator password recovery, which will show us a list of all our devices which are Laps enabled. So first things first, we need to enable Laps. So if we were to select device settings, you'll then have your usual settings, i.e. may I allow devices to join to Enter ID as a fully Enter ID domain joined device and access our online resources. Um, Upon join, do I want to require the use of multi-factor authentication? However, we can scroll down and we have an option to enable Microsoft Entra Local Administrator Password Solution. And we can hover over the little I, Laps is the management of a local account passwords on Windows devices. Laps provides a solution to securely manage and retrieve the built-in local admin password for cloud versions of Laps. Customers can enable storing and rotation of local admin passwords for both Microsoft Entra and Entra hybrid joined devices. So yes, we can do that. We can manage both the LAPS password and rotate the uh, the LAPS um, key through the likes of Microsoft Endpoint Manager, MEM. By default, this setting will be off um, due to testing the, the functionality. I've already toggled this to yes. Um, however, when you do press yes, just press save here and you'll have a little notification to say you're all good to go. In terms of prerequisites, you do need to either be on Windows 10 or Windows 11, 22H2. In terms of Windows Server for your on-prem uh, AD domain services and domain controllers, you do need to be on Windows Server 2019 or 2022 for Windows Laps to, to work in terms of um, functionality. So once we've enabled it from an org-wide perspective, we then need to deploy uh, the use of um, Windows Laps. We can either deploy through the likes of uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager, so Microsoft Intune, okay, which is currently in public preview. Uh, no date yet for global availability or we can deploy through a group policy object. This doesn't work for workplace joined um, uh, devices, okay? They have to be fully domain joined. So let's first understand the benefits of using Windows Laps while we access um, Endpoint Manager. So I'm in Endpoint Manager now, but let, let's understand the, the use case for, for Windows Laps. It's, it first, first things first, fundamentally, it's protection against uh, lateral attacks, okay? Pass hash attacks. Um, you don't want to have one generic password there for then a threat actor to compromise and then uh, use that password to then um, log into all your domain joined devices. Okay. Um, Windows Laps keeps the, the, the password rotated. Um, you can also um, associate expiration dates to those passwords. Um, and maybe uh, you, you want a minimum character for your for your password. You can set that as well as um, add numeric and um, uh, symbols to your passwords. Um, gen generalized improved security, uh, recovery of devices as well. Uh, maybe someone's forgot the local administrator password. We can use Microsoft Endpoint Manager to recover um, the password for the particular device um, and a, a secure model for storing passwords. Um, passwords can also be retrieved via Microsoft Graph API, um, also via the Azure portal or Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Um, as per what we said, we can now ma uh, manage this through Microsoft Endpoint Manager, which was previously managed through uh, on-premise means. On-demand password rotation. 
and uh, of course we support the hybrid um, configuration as well which is great for people uh, wanting to adopt cloud but have all their legacy configuration settings on-prem and this may may or may not have been a roadblocker for them moving their their, their cloud resources uh, sorry their on-prem resources to the cloud or line of business apps in terms of goals for Microsoft um, they they want to they want to build uh, Windows laps into the operating system, therefore it's more of an out of box experience. Okay, and they're trying to enhance the on demand uh, part of rotation, so it's a bit more seamless. And they're always trying to update the solution with 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 new features. So so there's a lot to come. There's a lot to come. So when we when we go to deploy Windows laps uh, from from a interim perspective anyway, we can click endpoint security. Um, if you're if you're used to deploying Defender for Endpoint, for example, then you're you're used to the Microsoft Defender for antivirus settings and all the attack surface reduction rules uh, being deployed through this console. We also have an option for account protection, which you've probably never touched. We can then create policy, and we'll just let platform. Except Windows 10 or later, everyone can select a profile. We've got a few options here: local user group membership, account protection, and also local admin password solution. For Windows Labs, so we obviously want to select Windows Labs. Everyone want to select Create. We can give this uh, a quick name. Uh, we can call this Rio Hindle. We can give this my name. Uh, that, that's that's auto complete anyway for you. Uh, description we can keep blank. Uh, platform Windows 10 and later, like I said, Windows 10 and later is the prerequisite for it. Then we have an option to configure the the Windows Labs um, deployment. So in terms of backup directory, we either have to pick one or the other. If we want to store our local administrator password to the cloud, we have to select we want to store it in Azure AD, which is now Enter ID. If we want to store it in on the um, on premise AD domain services, then we can select that and the presidents will be on prem AD. But you can only store in one or the other, okay? You can't you can't store the password in uh, two simultaneous locations and the password can't reside in two simultaneous um, locations. Okay? So in, in this one we can just select uh, back of the password to Azure AD only. We then have options for customization, password age days, so use this policy to clear the maximum password age for the for the managed local administrator account. If not specified, this setting will default to 30 days. Okay. We also can uh, decipher our administrator account name. Uh, maybe want to, uh, you know, we want to set precedence for this name rather than the, the, the device itself picking the local administrator name and it not being very... Um, uh, the name of convention not being tied to your organization per se, like an asset tag. Password complexity, yeah, like I said, we can add numeric letter, uh, numeric um, uh, characters, small letters, large letters, so uppercase, lowercase, um, special characters, okay, a uh, load, load of um, flexibility there in terms of configuration. Password length we can configure as well, okay, so we have 14 characters, um, we can allow up to 64 characters. Post authentication actions. Uh, do we want to reset the password upon expiry of the grace period? Okay, reset the password and log off the managed account, or reset the password and reboot, or uh, just not configured. And post authentication reset delay. We can select enabled. Default is 24 hours. Okay, however, we can we can pick and choose between zero to to 24 hours. Um, once we've set the configuration settings, we can then scope this to a security group either through device or user, and then push that out. As and when this is pushed out to devices, you will see a successful deployment um, when you look at the device and you look at the uh, configuration profile. Okay, This will then provide us the ability to uh, not just manage the, the you know, who, who's got uh, Windows laps enabled, but also rotate the, the key Okay, and recover, recover the, the, the key as well, to recover the account. So if I was to navigate back to um, I'll just pull up this bear with us, sorry. Because I haven't got a test uh, device to hand at the moment. I thought I'd show you the, the Microsoft docs which are in the, the public domain. So this is what we went through already. Went through the, the, the creating the, the profile in, in essence, setting the configuration settings. And then we could navigate to endpoint.microsoft.com, select devices, select the particular device. We've just um, deployed laps two. And we can see, um, in this following example anyway, a device that has, a, has had a local admin password successfully rotated. Um, just like you would see any device action um, listed in the kind of the audit trail for the device. 
once again, it does have to be a fully Enter ID Domain Joy device. It can't be registered. We can then scroll down. Um, you would have noticed whenever you do click on the device as well, you have an option for local admin password. Okay, we'll then have an option to show show the local admin password. Okay, and we can see when the last password rotation was and when the next po uh, password rotation is. We also have an op op option on the um, the ellipsis pane on the device to rotate local admin password. So if we don't want to wait for the ne next rotation um, uh, to do its thing, we can uh, do this manually. And once again, uh, to avoid policy conflicts, please either use one deployment method over the other. So either use Microsoft Intune or GPO. In terms of GPO, so when you are on the domain controller, uh, which has line of sight to your AD domain services and all your, your underlying devices, we want to select a GPO object, okay? We want to navigate to computer config system and then select laps. Um, we then have an option to um, uh, configure all the same settings uh, we, we had in um, in uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Um, however, we do have the uh, disaster recovery uh, password backup accounts as well we can configure alongside a, f a few other um, settings. I'm, I'm hoping that that's insightful. Um, in terms of limitations, there's a few other limitations which I, I will reference in the Microsoft documentation. Uh, but pretty much, uh, once you've deployed it and you've seen a successful configuration profile deployment, um, the, the ability to rotate the keys and show the key and recover the key will, will appear in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Um, and you'll also see in the likes of um, entra.microsoft.com in local administrator password recovery, a uh, list of all the devices which are enabled for laps. Any other questions, please do let me know. But I hope, hopefully that was insightful. And if any ideas in terms of uh, next videos, uh, please give, give a comment. And please uh, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.